Hi guys, Canadian Hunter here. So working in the garage tonight, um, I've got a friend's SKS that he dropped off the other day. And uh, you know, this is that typical scenario. Hey man, you know, I've been shooting corrosive ammo and uh, you know, basically he hasn't cleaned it. Um, one thing I have to admit, and it's probably saved him, is I think he shot like penetrating oil into everything. Um, I don't know why he didn't just clean it, but anyway. Um, so what I'm going to do is I've already started to take this thing apart. I'm not going to go through the, you know, how to take an SKS apart. I mean, that's, if you own an SKS, you know how to take it apart. And if you don't, I mean, let me know. I mean, if I get enough comments that say, hey, you know, like, really, how do you take an SKS fully apart? I'll make a video on that. But I assume that everybody knows how to do that. But the process I'm going to show is what I'm really going to do here um, or what I think needs to be done uh, to really take this thing and uh, get rid of any of the rust and sort of clean it back up. So, so what I've done is I've stripped off everything that I thought needs to get washed properly. I'm actually still going to take the magazine out um, and I might even take the trigger assembly out. I mean, I've got to see what that looks like. Um, there's uh, what is it there's there's one mainspring on the trigger that always gets rust build up so I might just throw that whole thing in the sonic wash and uh, all these other parts are gonna go in there I know that he's been getting um, some slam fires um, I was out once with this gun where you know the safety was on the bolt closed and it went off and I knew right away what had happened uh, which is that his firing pin um, is, is sticking I mean there's just it's oily, um, I don't know, again, I think he sprayed like penetrating oil or something on this, the whole thing, you can just see what's you know, all my hands, right? I mean, this, this isn't gun oil, this is something else. And uh, it just feels sticky. So I'm just gonna wash everything and just start over. And uh, then I'm gonna dry it really, really good. Um, go through this whole gun carefully. Use hoppies to clean it as good as I can. You know, I use usually hoppies. This is my favorite gun oil is this hoppies elite. This is the gun oil with the T3. They make it without the T3, but it's sort of like a, I think T3 is like a Teflon that they put in here, but this stuff's amazing. It's not cheap, but this is the best gun oil ever. It takes very little as well. Okay. So just so you know, you put a tiny bit of gun oil um, and on say a pad like this, and then just just wipe everything and uh, just you just small film is all you need and this stuff is just absolutely amazing so anyway this is gonna be kind of a part one I've just sort of stripped this thing down like I said I'm still gonna take the magazine out and the trigger assembly and then um, I'm gonna sonic wash the hell out of everything I've already cleaned the barrel somewhat I mean I did tons of hoppies patches and bore brush and pushed all that down there and and uh, it was just gross of course and uh, you know, I'm just going to hit it again and hit it again until it's clean and then put it back together and uh, give it back to him and, um, you know, maybe go out and uh, take a few shots with it, uh, which means I'm going to have to clean it uh, again, um, probably. But uh, really, I want to get it back to a really good operating order and I want to make sure that it's safe. I mean, that was the biggest reason that I want to clean this thing is that I know that with him getting slam fires, um, you know, it's just not a safe gun and I just don't want this gun even out there uh, you know in the bush and uh, you know it's just too dangerous I mean it was lucky that uh, you know when the bolt closed you know it went off and of course it was pointing downrange and uh, but it's pointing downrange and down a little bit and you know the person just looked back at me and just went dude the safety was on and I said yeah I know but um, you know, unfortunately, you know, slam fires can happen with SKSs and the big culprit uh, is always this firing pin and it being sticky because of course it sticks forward, slam shut, and it's gonna, it's gonna hit the primer and that's it, it's gonna go off. So we'll check back in a little bit when I'm all done cleaning this thing up. This is gonna be like a couple day project, I think, and um, I'll make another video at the end of uh, it all cleaned up. If you guys are curious, that's what a sonic wash is. What it's doing right now is a degauze phase um, where it's actually trying to get rid of the bubbles. There actually are no bubbles. So I'm just going to move it on to normal mode. And that is it. Um, use a sonic pulse to clean the parts effectively. And I can already see in the water, the water's already just got this film, right? Look at all that already, eh? Just coming off. So. 
see if I can get it out of here. Those are the parts. And that is all I'm doing. Dropping them in there. A little bit of Hornady one shot solution. This is actually for cartridge or um, for a cartridge case, but they actually have one for cleaning gun parts. But uh, I'm just gonna cheat and just use that formula for now. Let this go for a half an hour, and then uh, I'll pull it out and I'll show you guys what the parts look like when they're cleaned. Um, you know, they were absolutely gross before, so check back in a bit. Well guys, it's been about half an hour and uh, here's the water after the sonic wash. Absolutely just black and disgusting. And uh, so here's the parts. And what I'm gonna do is I've just dried these off as much as I can, put them on a cookie sheet. Um, got a oven here that has actually a warming drawer function. I'm just starting to heat it up right now. And uh, that's it. I'm just gonna put these in there um, for about a half an hour. It heats up to about 170 degrees. Um, I just want to make sure that these parts are uh, as dry as I can get them and uh, I want to get them dry as quick as I can. Um, and that is it. Uh, maybe tomorrow I'm going to start to clean up the gun a little bit more. Um, i got to oil up everything really, really well, make sure everything is moving and functioning perfectly and then put the gun back together. So this is part one for now. Part two, like I say, is going to be a reassembly and a final clean. If you like this video guys, please click like and as always, please click subscribe. Talk to you guys later. Bye bye.